Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm back here with another video and in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a tutorial, okay? So, yeah, I am going to be teaching you a magic effect. So, I did change the background. I hope you like the new background better than the old one. So, before we start this tutorial, just a quick note. There's some big news coming up on my channel in the next video that will be particularly interesting for magicians and people who want to get into magic. So more on that in the next video. So in this video, I'm going to be revealing the cups and balls effect. So the cups and balls effect is a classic illusion. It's one of the oldest pieces in magic. It's probably the oldest recorded trick. There's actually a diagram of this on an Egyptian pyramid. So that's how old this is. It's a really cool effect. So let's check out the performance first and then I'll explain it to you. All right guys, so here's the performance of this effect, okay? Okay, look, I have three balls and three cups, okay? So here's what we're gonna do with them. Now watch, we take one ball and we put it on top of the cup like this, okay? Now watch this. All I have to do is to snap my fingers and the ball actually passes through the cup all the way to the bottom, just like that. Was that too fast for you? I'll do it again, okay? Three cups and three balls. Watch this. Ball on top. All I have to do is to snap. And the ball passes through, right to the bottom, just like that. Now I'll do this again, but twice as hard, okay? That ball's gonna stay there, okay? Now watch this. One ball here, and one ball here. One ball on the bottom and one ball on top makes two balls on the bottom, just like that. Now what? We'll do this one last time. Okay? The last one. Okay? We put it on top and no, that would be boring. I mean, you've, you've seen that so many times already. Watch. We're actually going to make it go through not one, but two cups, just like this. Okay? Put the ball on top. I snap once, that passes to the first cup, then passes to the second cup and lands all the way at the bottom, three cups and three balls and that's the performance for this effect. Alright guys, so here's the explanation of this effect. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need three balls and you're going to need three cups, okay? But the secret is you use an extra ball, okay? So you're going to need four balls and three cups. So about the balls, you will need to use soft balls that don't make noise against the cup so you can't you know tell by the sound whether it's there or not uh, so this is the most basic version of this effect so you can use sponge balls or if you don't have sponge balls you could just use uh, crumpled up paper balls and any sort of small cups will do okay so let's get into the effect this is not hard to do at all it's really simple and it's a really cool routine so Here's a tutorial. So you're gonna have three balls outside and the setup is this. You, you're gonna stack the cups on top of one, one another. So you take one cup, so this is empty. Take another cup, you put it on top and to this middle cup, you're gonna put that extra ball right there, okay? And then you're gonna put the other cup on top and this is your setup, you're gonna introduce it in this stack. So, you know, three cups and three balls. And that's the move right there, putting this cup down without this ball falling out, which is the main part of this routine. It's what, it's what makes the routine work. So let's get into how to do that now, okay? So introduce everything like this. You say, I have three balls and three cups. You keep repeating this over and over again. You want to get into their mind that you only have three balls and three cups, okay? So this, this is the move. You're going to be holding the cups sideways like this. Okay, they're gonna hold the cup like this and put them down like this. Okay, so basically, when you're doing them fast enough like this, centrifugal force keeps this ball at the bottom of that cup without falling out. Okay, so let's go over that a little more in detail. So you're gonna hold them like this, and the way you're gonna put the cup down is like this. You take it like this, and you put the cup down like this. And obviously, if you do that that slow with the ball inside, it's gonna fall out if you could put the cup down. So that's gonna flash the secret of the effect. 
So all you have to do is just do it as a suff do it at a sufficient enough speed so that the ball doesn't fall off. That's the secret of the effect. No difficult slider fan at all. Just, so don't do it too fast because that looks suspicious. I mean, that looks suspicious and you might accidentally drop the ball out of the cup. And don't do it too slow either because then you'll drop it by mistake. You just want to do it at a moderate speed. Like, you know, I have three cups here. That's it. That's this. That's the move. That's the only move used in this effect. Everything else is just presentation, which is why I love this routine so much. Okay. Again, you hold the cups sideways, and you go like this. And, okay. So don't do it too slow. Okay. But like this, like this, like this. That's all it is. Okay. So here's the routining part of this. Is here's how you present it. Okay. So say you introduce the balls. I have three balls and three cups and you do the move, okay? So right now what the audience doesn't know is that there's a ball here, right? So now you constantly throughout the routine you're showing these two cups empty, you're banging the cups just to get into their head that all of this is just solid plastic or metal or whatever you're using and there are no trick cups or anything and you're doing this to reinforce the fact that the cups are in fact empty when there is one cup that is not okay so first when you when you're in this position you say okay fine I take one ball and I like to tap like this just to show that it's solid and I put it on top okay then I say watch the ball and I show these two empty and I put both of them on top okay now you see the already there's one on the bottom so when I snap I say it falls through the cup to the bottom and it looks like the ball passes through the cup now the Clever thing about this routine is, remember the setup is there's a ball in the middle cup in the stack. Since you put one there, that is still right there, right? Because once you do this, sorry about that, you have one here, right? So once you do this, right, this is automatically put into the middle cup of the stack. So you, so you are already setting up for the next phase of the routine. Okay, so you do this starting phase, which is just taking one ball like this, when there's only one here, right? Show it, snap, and it passes through the bottom just like that. So I like to do that two times because at first, you know, just to get into the head, it's like passing through the cup to like inception into the mind. The cup is solid, and the sponge ball is just passing through it. Okay. Now the second phase. Once it passes through, I leave the cup there, uh, I mean the ball there and I do the same move but I do it while the ball is already here. Sorry, look. So this is what we do. One, two and three. And it's the same move again but this time there are two balls here because there was one ball before and there was one ball in the cup. So together they make two. Then you take this one, put it on top, show empty again, snap. Now you reveal that there are two balls here and there's already another ball in the middle cup of the stack. So the whole point of this effect is you stay one step ahead of the spectator the whole time. That's what I really like about this effect. So the final phase is the same, exact same. It's all about the presentation, okay? So one, two and three. Now remember there was already a ball in this cup and there was two balls before we put it down. So there are already three balls here, right? But you don't show that. Then you say, okay fine, I'm gonna make it go through two cups. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you put it on one cup or two cups as long as you have one cup covering it so that they don't see this after the uh, pass through, right? So you do this, you snap, snap, and you show that there are three balls on the bottom now. And again, there is one ball here, so just be wary of that. Experienced magician, you could probably like palm it or something and then give the cups up, but you've already shown the cups empty all the time, so I don't think, really think that's gonna be necessary. So, yeah, that was the cups and balls effect. I really hope you like my content on the channel. So, if you do like my content, like this video and subscribe, share this video with your friends. Like I said, some big news coming up in the next video. Guys.